Additive manufacturing means that you can create your part layer-wise. Therefore, we use different technologies, some like laser sintering, where we melt a powder layer by layer. Or we can also use liquids some that are polymerized um, layer-wise. Um, there, we can save a lot of money in order to create the parts without any uh, use of a tool. And so we can be quite flexible in producing the parts or in uh, using different uh, design iterations. We, we can use those additive manufacturing technologies, for example, when we want to create spare parts for our customers. So one example could be that you have uh, one classic car and one of your parts fails, so you need an, uh, an, a spare part therefore. And so we could use um, these parts in order to scan them or design a CAD file out of it, which is always the basis for additive manufacturing. In the next step, we can directly manufacture the part out of a powder, for example, or we can also create a tool in order to generate the, um, the series part uh, with a conventional technology. As car manufacturer in the premium segment, we want to give the customer a nice offer for different parts in his car. So one idea is to use additive manufacturing for individualization. This means um, we want to give the customer the chance to create his own parts he can use for his car. Today, we still have to do a lot of research on additive manufacturing in order to get um, very good surface quality, for example, or reproducible mechanical properties in the produced parts. Additive manufacturing, which is today also known as 3D printing, has been used within the BMW group since 1990. The components are mainly used within the early stages of product development. We've been developing the additive manufacturing processes for over 25 years now and we feel pretty confident that we can use these processes within a serial production. A first example is our water pump wheel of the German touring cars, which are built in a small series production. The future of 3D printing is clearly the serial production. Uh, future generations of machines will be able to produce a larger quantity of components within a shorter time period. This means we will be able to be more cost effective and then we will be able to actually use the potentials of the 3D printing processes uh, to be exact to use the lightweight building potential. Also, ich sehe da jetzt hier hier kein Problem. Also, okay. Er liegt hier Also, okay. Also, ich bin gerne. Ja, ich bin fast. Servus.
Gott. Servus. Grüß dich. Bitte. Ich habe hier ein Teil, das ist von meinem M1, 81er Baujahr. Das ist scheinbar Teil von der Zündspule. Von der Zündstimme des Stars, ja. Gucken wir gleich nach. Das sollte hier die Nummer 3 sein, die, die Staubkappe. Mhm. Das Teil ist am Lager leider nicht mehr lieferbar. Wir haben aber eine Möglichkeit, dieses Teil über einen 3D-Druck zu erstellen. Ja, aber das ist gut. Dann würde ich das gerne bestellen. Läuft? 